Okay, so uh, the first thing we want to do is we have to get uh, Santa's belly correct. So the under part, so his legs, he's got that big sort of bulge underneath. Um, so what we have to do is pop stuff underneath here. Now you could use modelling chocolate, but it's, it's quite expensive. If you use sugar paste, the chances are it will probably just fall, unless you do it upside down and leave it for a night. So uh, sugar paste, uh, put some CMC or tylo powder, build it all up, the legs, and leave it upside down to dry overnight, and it should be fine then to flip over the next day. However, if you don't have that time, uh, and you don't want to use modern chocolate because it's very expensive, we're going to use a little bit, maybe, um, uh, we can use tin foil instead, uh, or, and just ganache, okay? So what we want to do is just scrunch up ball, and just pop it in the middle, and just start to build up that shape, okay? So just get big sheets of tin foil, and you scrunch it up and all we're doing is just squeezing that on to create the, the shape. Okay, and just on there like so. Okay and you can see there we can just build it up. All the way around like so. Okay, so we just want to keep going round and just keep on adding. And then you can see I've got the, the glue gun to my side there. So we're going to use the, use the glue gun to stick it all together. Okay. Good, so I think I could do a little bit more there. Okay, so you can see how we're getting there. So I'm going to lift this up and just going to pop glue all over. Please just watch your fingers. Oops. Okay, that didn't work. Let's just do it again. Got that one stuck there now. It's a little bit messy. There we go. Right, so just start to add tin foil. Watch your fingers. I'm terrified of this stuff after that time when I burnt myself. Okay. a bit more. Okay. okay, so just keep on adding. Until we get, obviously we're just looking for a nice sort of round shape. Semi-circle sort of shape. Okay. Okay. So I'm just checking the shape first, then I'm going to pop some glue in. There we go. There we go. Okay. So let's just turn upside down. Good. So it needs a bit more in the belly, just this bit here. So let's just uh, make sure there's plenty of glue there. Okay, and then just Don't put that there. 
Okay, it's definitely getting there. Still think it needs a little bit more in the belly. Okay, around this side. On there. Now, it was actually a arcade designer that I saw using this idea. And it's just ingenious because it just saves so much time and money. And it was Karen Portello. Uh, I started doing it and it's great. Just, it just bulks out a part of your cake very quickly. There, let's turn that upside down. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, so just round checking his wee belly. Okay, yep, that's perfect. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around and just glue all the wee flaps to make sure it's stuck down properly. Uh, and then that's the, the belly fixed. Uh, and then when we come back, we can start to carve the cake. <laughs> 